Okay, so this next project is designed to introduce you guys to making a print in Clo. Um, version 6 has a new multi-texture editor tool. So we're going to practice using it with just a simple polka dot file I'm giving you. And then the next assignment, you'll actually use your own artwork. But for this one, it's pretty easy. Follow along to get yourself used to the tools. So I gave you guys a circle skirt um, Z-Pack project file. So when you open that, it'll open in Clo, which I have here. I'm gonna right click on my mouse and you can see she has it on. It's a nice, lovely circle skirt. And over here is a 2D pattern. So it's actually four pattern pieces here. So right now it's just white fabric. We're gonna change it to a polka dot. Um, you'll get to decide what color you want the polka dots. Um, the scale, the distance of like the negative space, all that good stuff. So how we're going to do that is you will go to Object Browser and Property Editor. You want to make sure both of those are open. And then this has already been assigned just a plain cotton canvas. So we're going to click that fabric. So you need to make sure that fabric is highlighted. And when it is, in the property editor are all this information. So we are going to play with texture. Again, you might have heard me tell you guys that for some reason, 3D software, they don't call prints prints. They call them texture. So look for texture. Here it is. And there's a secret little paintbrush icon. It's kind of small. It's the one right in the middle. You want to click that one time. And OK. And what just opened is a thing called Texture Editor. Yay. Okay, so right now we have just cotton fabric. That's fine. We're going to leave that. But we want to add a polka dot. So I also gave you a JPEG or maybe it's a PNG. I kind of forget right now. But I gave you a file. Um, and I think it's called dot white. And you will want to open that up. Um, you, this also works in Adobe Illustrator files. I'm just going to use the PNG for right now. Let's see. Okay. So what dot, what, white dot on white fabric still looks white. So we can change the color. And this took me a minute for some reason to figure out how to change the color. Um, your slider is probably over here and it says color. So that's exciting. But then there's no drop down menu like there is for blend or opacity. So I was kind of confused. But then I found color over here on the property editor. I was playing with that. Don't do that. That took me down a bad rabbit hole. I figured out what my problem was is that I'm working on kind of a small screen. So I just can't see the color option. But if I slide this guy all the way over here, boom, color. So right now there's none. So it's just defaulting to white like my art. But if I click it, I can pick a color. Okay, so I just picked red, as you can see, red polka dots. So I guess I will leave that. I'll say, okay. Um, so that's for my dot. Now here, my fabric, it's white, it looks good, but maybe you wanna change the color of that. Again, do not go to property editor. Stay here in your texture editor guy and choose color and scroll over. All right, now it's set to none. Change it to whatever color you wanted. Maybe I'll do black. Say okay. So I have black fabric and a red polka dot. Here is my repeat. So if I wanted to make my repeat, oh, that's my fabric. So I'm gonna leave my fabric. Doesn't really matter if I change that. I'm gonna go to the white dot. In fact, if I like my fabric, I can also just lock it and it shouldn't make any more changes. Okay, so now I'm selected on the dot. I'm gonna play with scale. So I can make it small, I can make it bigger. Ah. Um, I can even, I wonder if they'll let me do this. Can I copy it and paste it? No, but I can kind of move it around. I can make it bigger. Okay, so it's just a dot. I could rotate it, but you can't really tell because it's just a dot. If I wanted to add another dot, I can just hit add, and I could get that same file. And look, there it is. Isn't that kind of cool? And you can move it around. 
whatever you want. Now, when I go right here, I'm gonna scroll into my artwork. You can see it got cut off. If you don't want it to get cut off, there is something you can do about that. You can go to under repeat, extend to other side. I think that's what it is. There we go. So now you can see it's copied up here too. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah. Okay, so maybe this one I'll make smaller. Whoa. Maybe I'll put it here. And it's just kind of fun because you can design while seeing it on the girl over here. So I want you to play around with that. Um, you'll also notice there's different layers here. You can click, drag, and drop them. So um, you, know, you probably want your cotton most likely on the bottom layer because if not, it's going to cover the dots. So you can just click and drag just to make sure that's there. And if you are overlapping elements, you can um, move them around here. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So when you're done, you'll say apply. And then right here, it made you a little texture swatch. I'm going to click this right here. Oh, okay. I guess I have to close my texture editor and click texture. Um, okay. And here we go. It saved it right here. And this is the file I want you guys to turn in. So you have to figure out where it's saving. It looks like my name is baked underscore texture with this weird thing. Um, or I could even rename it maybe. Um, let's see here. So it's easier to find. I kind of just want to copy it. Copy. Let's see here. So this is going to be hard for me to find. Um, so I can either memorize this or I can just search it. So I'm gonna say cancel, because what I'm doing right now is just trying to figure out the name of my file so that I can go find it to turn it in. So to turn it in, uh, for me, I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna go Finder, I'm just gonna paste that name, and let's see if it can find it for me. Can't find it, no. Ah, so that's the annoying part. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna keep trying. Let's go back here. So if I click here, or I could take this and say, I duplicate, oh, I know, I could share. There we go. Um, where should I share it to? Okay, for me, I guess I'm gonna, Oh no, share two messages, I guess. So I could just message it to myself. Let's see if that worked. There we go. Mm, I don't know if that does. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Okay, cool. And then I could have that file to go turn it in. We also want to um, take a snapshot. So when you're done, um, Go over to Snapshot, do your 3D window, and figure out a name and where you're going to save it. I'm going to save mine on my desktop. And then, um, let's see here, maybe you, do, you could do multi-view if you wanted. Let's see here, I'm going to scroll this girl up here. I mean, let's see. That's really... We'll scroll out a bit. There we go. Um, but yeah, get some views to turn in as well so we can see what it looks like on the actual skirt and then just hit save. And that's pretty good just for the dot. So the dot is just to kind of get you warmed up to push the right buttons. It's easy to get lost and overwhelmed. So I just want you guys to start with that. And then I'm going to want you to go in and create your own artwork. So um, just a reminder, when you guys go to artwork, you're going to click on your fabric. You're going to go to texture and click that paintbrush. And then you're going to delete these dots and add your own artwork. And I want a minimum of three different artworks, okay, that you're going to just make a repeat out of. Okay, so it's going to be anything you want. Okay, um, let me know if you guys have questions. I'm really excited to see how they turn out. And yeah, that's it.